All right, I was uh, repairing my jacks on my RV. Got them all fixed. I had a bunch of problems with it. Got it all running, fixed, put some fluid in it, make sure I had enough. And I had my camper all jacked up, set, and level. And about an hour later, boom. Had a hose blow out on me. This is an 03 model. <clears throat> Bought it last year and the jacks never worked. Got them working and hose blowed out. What I think it was, where it blew out was by a, by a muffler, where the hose runs by the muffler. So I'm gonna have to change all them hoses out. But first, I gotta clean this mess up and uh, we're gonna pull them hoses off. Okay, I got all the slide outs pulled in. I still got them three jacks down on the ground. I gotta pull them up. So, ready to break on. Break my engine. Okay. Turn that on. System jacks down. Level. You don't see nothing about the one being blown out, but we're going to peel up all the jacks. And they're all up. Put my, my light for my jacks down still on. Cause I ain't got enough fluid in my reservoir. Cause one of my hoses done blowed out and half my fluids on the ground. So we're gonna take care of that now. We're gonna pull that hose loose. Turn that off. All right, here's my hose. This is the one that blowed out. Driver side in the back. There's connection. Gotta take it off up there. It's a uh, takes five eighths wrench. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change these both of these back ones. There's another one over there, and it just fishes through, runs underneath on the frame, strap ties, got tire wraps all the way down to the motor mount, pumps all the way in the front of the bus underneath my hood. So, we're going to get started here. Broke loose here. Got the hose down in the bucket. So go underneath the hood and break the other end. So to get the air do the backside and we drain this line out before I try to pull it out and get it all over the place. Alright, I got the hose busted loose on the back jack on the driver's side. And up on here is where my pump is. I got a 2003 Damon Challenger power gear and there's my pump there's my reservoir now one of these two is the driver's side and one of them's the passenger side don't know which one yet i'm gonna go ahead and break them both loose and then after I, i'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out and then i'll come back and i'll let y'all know which one's the driver's side which one is the passenger side so i'm gonna go ahead and break that loose get some air in there drain them lines Got them, got that one side draining, driver's side. Broke the two hoses loose underneath the hood. Now I'm gonna come break this one loose here. And then I'm gonna start pulling them out. Okay, I'm going underneath the bus and following my lines. I'm cutting all the tie straps loose. Here's my two lines right here. That's where it busted. Right above the Cadillac converter, which gets real hot. And I think that might have been the issue because there's no heat guard on my hoses right there. If you look back over here. I see over here by the, your header, your muffler's coming off your motor. There is a heat guard. 
shields to heat from burning up all your wires. So make sure when you undo your straps, you put that back. Oh, by just your main header coming off your motor on this side. So I just want to show y'all that. All right, I'm gonna show you another shot of the that heat shield. This is where it comes up by the front tire. We get the motor there and the header and the heat shield. It's a sleeve. Them hoses run through. So I better put all this back together. You gotta fish that through there. I'm still cutting these straps. And these straps hold a lot of bunch of wires and everything. So you make sure you put it all back when you and my pump's right up there. Alright, I got all the tie straps broke loose. These are my two uh lines going to the back. What I'm gonna do now, got my little air compressor there, and I got it set for like 15 pounds. I'm gonna blow a little air through there so when I pull it I don't get it the fluid all over the place. I still got a bucket on the other end but I'm just barely push air through it to where I bleed down see how this goes. Okay I blew the lines out what I had to do too, I had to get a different air piece. I got this little air gun here, I had to put in there because this couldn't quite reach the hose. And it was just blowing all around that nut there. So I blow them out there. They should be pretty cleared out. I did find out that this one here goes to passenger side in the back. And this one goes to the driver's side in the back. Now, what's the RP and CR stand for? I don't know. I have to look in the book and see that. But i am got them blowed out, and I'm going to start pulling them out. Okay, I got all the holes out. I did that yesterday. And today, this Monday, I got my new holes out right here. Ready to uh, string it out. I'll be rolled up on here, string it out, and I'll show you what I do. All right, I got my holes stretched out. Got all the twists out of them. What you want to do, grab one. Put some tape on one to mark it so you know which one's the right one which one's the left one you start pulling them in there and underneath going back and forth you're going to forget which one's which so i'm just going to mark this one I'll mark the other side I showed y'all earlier about a, this goes about a header on a muffler. Go ahead and slip them on first. Then I start pulling from behind the front tire and then go up to the motor where the pump's at. All right. Another thing you want to do before you pull your hoses through there, go ahead and tape the end up that you're going to be feeding through so you don't get no trash in it. Okay, I got it all ran. Go start at the front, pump is, and I'll start tie wrapping it all. All right, I got the hoses ran in place. So, put these back on. The one I tagged with the tape is passenger side, which would be this outside fit in here. And the other one's on the driver's side in the back. So, go ahead and Screw these on, tighten them up, and start tie wrapping everything all the way back. All right, I got a tie strapped here. Got my heat, my heat shield on it. There's my uh, header from my muffler. So make sure you don't forget to put a heat shield on your wires right here and your hoses. Okay, I got the tie strapped all the way to the. Cadillac converter, that's right, right there. Right above it, I added this uh, 
heat shield on here, which is uh, work in the industry as a fire blanket. It's made off fire, mostly fiberglass. And uh, so, do that. That's where it busted out on me. I was thinking the heat might have just messed up, messed it up or something. So, covered it with the fire blankets this time. Give a little protection. Okay, I got all the holes clean. I got it stuck up to the tent, up to the gap on both sides. And my wife is in the bus. I'm going to push down on the jacks so we get a little fluid out and we'll tighten them up. Put me a cold board over here to catch any fluid. See how this goes. Hold that. Okay. I just got it on there. The air ain't all bled out yet, but the jacks are coming down some. So I know there's pressure on it. I'm gonna just crack it open a little more, get the air out, and the fluid comes out. Okay, I got them bled out. Got my wife drop them down. Okay, hold up! Alright, there they are. Not bleeding back up. Good to go. After you finish bleeding it down, don't forget to refill your reservoir and check it out. And I am back in business. If you're willing and able, you can fix it yourself.